you know, I've got one boy that, that I wasn't thinking about showing, but I, I could show him. I'm going to let you handle that. Okay. Wait, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm not okay with people telling me what to say. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that about you. <laughs> how, how we've tried to make you puppet. <laughs> Be a puppet. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Look, I got my mom here today. And last week's video, we talked about showing you all of the male ball pythons because we showed you all the female ball pythons last weekend. So we're going to meet all the males this oh, weekend. all right. Sound okay. Like fun? Sounds like Yeah. Barrel laughs. laughs. Don't leave me here too long by myself. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that color. You very well may recognize this this guy. Me? No, I really? don't. I'm you sorry. Don't? Lavender or something? No. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is Carl. Carl, one of the first. The first ball python. Yeah, came to live at my house, actually. Yep. yep. Hi hypo pinstripes. Hypo spin pinstripe, that's it. He wants to go hang out with his girlfriends, I think. He's just oh. all wired up right now. He's, yeah. He doesn't want to sit still for the picture. I've got a feeling that's going to be most of the males today. But that is Carl, the very first ball python we ever got. He's, He's a like, hypo pinstripe. How old is he, eight? Uh, yeah, about that, eight, yeah. nine. Looks very much like the day I got him. And Carl is not photogenic today. Next. Uh, <laughs> so why are you showing all of these? Just because it's a good idea? It is a good idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you came to that conclusion all by yourself. That's exactly why we're doing it. Because it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do I a like little up to... update. I haven't showed these snakes in a while. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Just so people know what's happening over here. All right. I like talking to myself, too. Perfect. That's, that, that makes the video go really well. Mm -hmm. That's how I do it too. <laughs> Talk to myself and let people listen in on it. Uh -huh. This no, I know, I know what it is. Oh, I know no, who this, it is. This this is. You do. Mr. Pink. Wow. He's the first snake that we ever produced here at Triple B. He's an Enchi Lesser, possible Het Sunset, mm -hmm. and he's actually sired a clutch. He sired uh, his first clutch last season here. Oh, good job. Yeah, I thought so too. Well done. And again, he's gonna, he's just running around like a crazy person. I think the I think a lot of the males are gonna be like this today. Yes, you can breed. I promise. Later. <laughs> I like the spots on this one. You like the spots? Yeah, I do. It's called a coral glow. Oh, okay. And there's also a ban version called banana. It's just the same trait with different names. Came in from different people around the same time, and they just gave it different names huh. for the same trait. Really? Basically. Yeah. Banana and coral glow. Huh. And Coral Glow was the Freedom Breeder line, and this is actually a snake from Freedom Breeder. He's a he's a Coral Glow pied boy. His name is the King, because my plan for him was to go with our clown pied female, the Queen. And I actually got this when I first started working with Freedom Breeder, when it, even when it was unofficial. When I just helped them with, with some photos for their website, I got this one exchange for that work. So I remember them coming to our house with the racks or something like that way back when. Mm -hmm. It was Jesse, yeah. Get your Cocoa Blocks. Oh, hi. Looks a lot like his dad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This, this is Oedipus. He is a coral glow pied, 100% het clown. So that pairing I was just talking about, we did put the king with the queen, and this was one of the offspring. Aww. And named him Oedipus because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. This is Ricky, and he is a pastel and she clown. When I first got this guy, I think this is the first snake I ever had. No, that's not true. But I remember I made a whole long video about waiting for this snake to arrive because he was supposed to get there at like 10.30 that morning, but he didn't end up getting to the house till like 3.30 in the afternoon. And he happened to arrive the one more. I was sitting outside the front of the house watch, waiting like all day for the snake to arrive. And then I went in to use the bathroom once. And in that five minutes I ran to use the bathroom, the FedEx guy had showed up and left him on the driveway in a box. <laughs> and that was the last time I had a snake delivered to the house. I was like, just going to leave the snake on the box on the driveway? <laughs> in the sun I was like and that's why I don't that's why I don't ever ship to people's houses and make a pickup from the hub because of FedEx drivers that leave boxes on driveways in the sun don't get it but do get do get redline shipping no oh yeah was that when you were living at Uncle Scott's yes yes this is one of Ricky's offspring and his name is suitor number one <laughs> or just suitor one suitor number one I named him that because he was going to go with the queen. He was, uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, a suitor or maybe with a princess or uh, okay. something like that. Either way, he produced some Enchi Clown Pides last, or the season before last. Pretty cool um, thing to produce, especially for how much I love Clown Pied. It's tough to show off these snakes when you're holding them like this. <laughs> so, here, 
I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> we should move on. <laughs> yes, you should. This is Bruce. He's an Enchi 100% head sunset. He's the dude that got us into the, the sunset project in a big way. And he's a stud in the fact that he, he breathes very well. I mean, he'll basically, like, if you throw him in with a broom, I'm pretty sure he'd try to lock up with the broom or any kind of <laughs> long thing like that. And he also um, tends to pass on a lot of his traits most of the time. So he passes on his Enchi and his het sunset, like, constantly. But we've, we've got very few normals when he's involved, and we've gotten lots of sunsets from him, in j- even just head to head pairings. Have you recorded all of the things that you've read? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Well, that makes sense. Moving right along. And why'd you call him Bruce? Uh, lack of imagination. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of Bruce's offspring, aptly named Stud Muffin. <laughs> Bruce is such a stud. I was just kind of trying to manifest that this guy was going to be like dad on his studliness. studliness. And he actually kind of is. He's so he's the Enchi Cinnamon Sunset. So and this guy had babies? He, yeah, he's produced uh, clutches. Oh, good job. Yeah, he's a... All right. He's a real stud. Yeah. Real good stud job. there. Way to reproduce. That's about all there is to say. Yeah, okay. Look stud at his nothing. eyes. He's like, what? So cool. Oh, you know what? Well, since we're about halfway through the video, I think we should do a shout out through to one of our sponsors. New feature on Morph Market and the Morph Market Projects. They've launched a new way to discover and share the animals you're producing and or looking for. Just click on the Projects tab. And for example, if you're looking for a certain recessive project, just select that trait type in the sidebar, then click on the project you're interested in. Search through all the different projects that involve that specific trait. From there, you can see what possible offspring are incubating or even what animals have been produced in that project. And this isn't just for ball pythons. This new project feature can help you find and share all kinds of species. You can even save your searches and get alerts when new projects that you're interested in pop up. You can use the offspring manager to create and share projects. You should start doing that today. I'm doing it and it's uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. They're I, I, yeah. constantly making updates. They're always bringing new stuff to the forefront, for, new things to the table, which is why I, I like them. Yeah. yeah always yeah. trying to make it better. Always evolving. Continuous Pythons. improvement. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's a thing. Yeah, I know. Always evolving. That's Miguel's uh, company. Always, evol- always oh, evolving. Always Pythons. evolving. Okay. Yeah. Now, continuous improvement is a. Scuba Steve, produced Scuba by Steve. Canova or Justin Kabilka at the time that it was produced. And he's supposed to be. They, whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be a spot nose, enchi, GHI, red stripe clown. And he certainly proved out everything but the GHI. So he's had four clutch, no, three clutches. He's had three clutches now, and I haven't seen his GHI yet, but I was kind of thinking, like, at least maybe two or three more clutches, because you never know. You could have three clutches where the GHI doesn't happen to pass. Yeah, but I, but it's interesting, though, that was that was the one trait where I was like, are you sure this has GHI? You know, like, how can you tell? And I, I've said, you know, I'll take your I'll take your word for it. And she said, there's GHI, I believe you. But that's the one trait that hasn't popped out yet, so I'm going to give it a couple more clutches, and then if it doesn't, then I'll, then I'll hit up Justin and be like, Look, dude, there's been five clutches, no GHI. What's GHI? It's another trait. Oh. It stands for gotta have it. Ah, gotta have it. Gotta have it. Okay. Gotta have it. Make a good habit of gut, of getting to have it. Huh. So when at some point can you say that there's there's a new strain or whatever, like a GHI or... As long as you prove it out. Prove it out to be a heritable trait, something you can see and show other people and say, and say this is the trait, this is what it does. Oh, okay. And then have it be proven out through breeding. And it has to be unique, obviously. Yeah, or sometimes they're not as unique. Just depends. I mean, it could be something that's similar or something that's part of a similar complex or like the thing like with Coral Glow and, and Banana. Those are like, it's the one trait. There's there's others that people will argue over or, you know, debate about whether this is a not another trait that's the same trait, which is just given a different name. Mm. Coral Glow and Banana is one that people are like, okay, it's the only thing that's like sex linked. It starts out with this, you know, uh, T positive albino kind of look with the the light pinks and purples and yellows and then eventually develop spots. So most people are like, okay, I think we can agree this is the same trait given two different names by two different breeders. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. I think so. Oh, banana. Oh, spots. I get it now. <laughs> this is Rocky. He's a gravel pastel specter. He's one of the snakes we rescued from Grant and Arnold. And 
he's looking good. And he's got a girlfriend, Roxy, that put him together to make all kinds of fun yellow belly complex uh, animals. Yeah. That was quick. Yep. This is the other one that I got in that same little uh, rescue deal. And this is Orange Dream Spot Nose Clown, which is fantastic because I love Spot Nose and Clown and I didn't have any Orange Dream. So wow. it's a pretty cool little thing that worked out that this guy was part of that um, rescue thing because, whoa, sorry about your face there, bud. Didn't yeah, mean to scare you so, so cool much. Too. Yeah, underbellies are super cool. Yeah. Some more than others, especially. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 don't freak out, bro. But I. He was totally freaking out. But we. He, he got scared of my finger. Ah. Uh, but he's, uh, he's actually sired a clutch. I'm going to let you handle that. Okay. Wait, don't go anywhere. <laughs> You're talking to me or the snake? No. <laughs> yes. No. I got the snake, I think. Yep. Go His girlfriend's night. definitely gravid. Pro it looks like she's going into her pre-lay shed right now. So we should right. see some nice orange dream spot nose fire clowns. And 100% clowns in the clutch because they're both clowns. It's going to be awesome. You're a clown. Yep. <laughs> you know, I've got one boy... I, that I wasn't thinking about showing, but I, I could show him because he is a boy and he is staying here. He was a little guy. Yeah. A little guy, fresh hold back. And uh, he just shed, so it's perfect. I'm glad I decided to show him because we didn't have a single snake in shed that we oh, shared. We didn't? That never happens. Oh, okay. We always have a snake in shed. <laughs> this okay. is a champagne Coral Glow 100% Het Pied, and his name is Don Ho. <laughs> Tiny Bubbles. <laughs> His mother's name is Bubbles. Oh, perfect. Anything you'd like to share while we're here on camera? It's your dad's birthday today. That's right. Happy birthday, Dad. Mm -hmm. yep. Go check him out on Whiskey Wimps. Yep. He won't be coming up for another month or so, but Whiskey Wimps channel. That's that'll, right. That'll be on there. Mm -hmm. Because it's his birthday. It is his birthday. All day. Happy birthday, Dad. Yep. We're glad he was born. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video. Look forward to some future videos. We're going to be showing that uh, blood python clutch and what may or may have not gone right or wrong with it. There may be more wrong than right. We're going to have to get into it in this week's video on the Cusco Uncut. And you check that out. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Aloha. <laughs> Do you have a plan or are you just um, randomly picking? This is a oh, snake. Next! You're gonna edit out me just sitting here by myself. <laughs> it depends on how entertaining you are. Not the fair. Less entertaining you are, the more I'll <laughs> I haven't had to entertain anybody for a while, so. <laughs> like, what the heck? You good in there? You good in there? Your shoes are untied. I know. Is that okay? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> oh, cell phone. Oh, what just happened up there? Where? Matilda. Har, har, har. Stay on, you bloody bling bling! Standing on chairs with scissors, what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody try to eat my microphone? Because <laughs> it's mouth level, it's just like asking for to be bit.